We're heading to the show. And the show they're talking about is the Donnie Smith Bike and Car Show in St. Paul, Minnesota. But before they can do that, they gotta finish this bike. With so much work to do and so little time to do it in, the pressure's on. Pressure to get every weld clean, every line straight, every detail accounted for, and the paint? Well, the paint's gotta be perfect. You see, the Donnie Smith is not just a handful of bikes slapped together with a swap meet. It's the largest bike show in the Midwest. This show hosts over 30 classes of bikes and over 200 motorcycles. There's over 225,000 square feet of motorcycles, swap meets, artisans, adventurers, vendors, cars and trucks, all under one roof. And these bikes, they're all judged by the AMA Motorcycle Hall of Fame inductee Donnie Smith himself. And if you didn't know it, he's kind of a big deal around here. This show gets almost 20,000 motorcycle and car enthusiasts every year. And he's built some of the most iconic bikes ever over the last few decades. And this, well this is the big show for every bike builder out there. And they all know, if you're going to Donnie Smith, you better bring your A-game. Thank God it's one of these shows in March in northern Minnesota that I shouldn't say northern Minnesota, southern Minnesota, but in March in Minnesota, and there's snow and everything else, so you're not expected to ride into this show. We hate bringing bikes that aren't done. We had this pink bike last year that we had entered, and we didn't get it done, and we refused to put a bike that wasn't done into a show. It's like, no, f*** you, this thing, you know, it wasn't wired, even though it looked complete, and we brought it through to the booth to show it off. You could start it, you could ride it, this bike isn't complete, this bike does not, you know, it's not ready for a show. There's people that we compete against that don't have a problem doing that. Yeah, they don't ever run. <laughs> Some of them. We, you know, we're really, you know, here we had it in this pro class series. We have a bike that can't be rode, even though you can start it and do all that. Can't ride it because of the air shock. You know what I mean? F out on us. And I mean, we're talking, we're loading that night because we leave at five in the morning tomorrow. So we grabbed the nitrogen tank, we're able to air it up, get it in the trailer. We just brought that tank with us. And like I said, sad to say, we threw a bike in that could be rode because mm -hmm. of that shock. Rideable or not, ready or not, the show must go on. The level of passion and dedication for motorcycles is apparent on every bike, every biker, and every bike builder in here. From the ones with just a really cool paint job, to the extremely rare, seemingly endless classes of glides, to the completely chopped up customs. It can't be denied that the Donnie Smith is where you take your bikes to compete and your soul to rejuvenate. Here's where you take the results of your blood, your sweat, and your tears. Here's where you present the culmination of the sleepless nights. Only here's where you go to display your dreams. Because here, here's where you go to show the world what you're capable of. Yeah, it's important to win and be recognized for your hard work. But sometimes, it's more important to have fun. See, that's not Scott. That's Matt. But these people don't know that. There you go, Scott. This man's ready to go dancing. Outstanding, congratulations. Indian Chief Classic. 
I mean, it's just to get away, hang out, laugh, yeah. I think is our favorite part, you know. And Even though I enjoyed it way more when we just put bikes in and f***ed around. Mm. <laughs> I'm actually leaning towards that this year. I Me mean, too. we're going to <laughs> 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 So they didn't take home the big prize. They didn't need to. But what they did need to do was to make sure that the world knew who they were. Did you guys hear the waterboarding story? I probably shouldn't tell it. You tell it. No matter how hard I try to shoot it, See, that ring, it's like... Because they're a little bit more than two bike builders from Virginia, Minnesota. There was a lot of people that were super excited about the bike show. Their family. And they felt they needed to their show friends. Just some appreciation. <laughs> they're rowdy. A lot. And they're here for a good time. <laughs> Even if that good time is at my expense. Honestly, I'm getting kind of used to it. You see my baseball? <laughs>